God's lashings of jam. It's hard to encapsulate in a few words. Lashings of jam is the phenomenon that it is today. It's basically... Um, next question. Lashings of jam. What is lashings of jam? Well, it's hard to explain. Basically, uh, if you want to lash some jam, just get a, a soup spoon. That's what I use. A soup spoon of righteousness. That's what I call it. And you just dig it, r dig it right in, and then you just throw it all over the toast. That's what I do to lash the jam. Uh, yeah, that's basically what it is. Oh, the name. It came from me. I, I thought of it. It's a pretty snazzy name, actually. Jono didn't like it at first. But, um... I got it from Titus chapter 3, verse 5. Uh, well, actually, I came up with a name. Um, I was sitting in the bath, and uh, it just came to me. It just popped into my head, lashings of jam. I was actually eating jam at the time with my soup spoon of righteousness. So that's probably where it came from. I came up, Jan thought it was a great idea. He really liked it. He liked the ring to it. And... Um, yeah, he said I was pretty much the best. I could, I could, I could come up with band names all day, like uh, um, I'll get back to you on that one. Where did the name come from? Well, that was my idea, Lashings of Jam. It was basically um, <laughs> that was a really funny story. That one actually. Um, we were out on the lash, and um, somebody somebody had this jam, and I thought that's a, that's a great name for a band, it's Lashings of Jam. And um, so, so basically, when the band formed, um, uh, well, when, when I formed the band, basically, out of the three principal members, myself, Jonathan, of course, um, we were all there, and uh, I thought, you know, well, it's a great idea for a band name, it's Lashings of Jam, and they all thought it was great, and they're like, oh man, Jan, you're the greatest, so uh, basically, that, that's where the name came from. Well, I just answered that, didn't I? It's um, myself and Jonathan and Josie. Um, we all we all go to the same youth group um, for the for the Feltham Young Offenders. And um, when we all got out, I thought, what, what's a great idea for rehabilitation? And my uh, my parole officer thought the same thing was just to um, to form a band that we could be united together. And I thought, you know, flashings of jam. And basically, it's gone from strength to strength in all of the two and a half weeks we've been together, basically. It's, it's been a life-changing experience for that period of time. How did we form? Well, actually, I met Jan at the library and he had his guitar. And uh, I asked him what he was doing with a guitar, and he told me he played guitar, which was pretty obvious. So uh, I decided, yeah, we should just join, make a band. I, my sister actually, she played guitar as well, so I thought maybe um, she could join. Sorry, Felton. Never been to Fiji. Don't know what you're talking about. How did I fall? Oh, funny story actually. Let me tell you about this. So it started off from nine months in my mum's belly, right? And then when she went into labour, for a few hours, don't really know, she went to the toilet to have a wee-wee, and let alone, I mean, guess what happened? <laughs> my head popped out on the toilet! I was born in the toilet! That's how I was formed.
Uh, my part in the band. Well, I like to think of myself as the leader of the band. Um, I know drummers aren't normally the leaders leader of the band, but you know, we're not really mainstream. We're just cool, hip, down with the kids. <laughs> No, I've never been to Fiji, I told you. <laughs> what role do I play in the band? Well, um... Ooh, I suppose I'm sort of band leader, coordinator, manager, um, performing member, lead guitarist, or, or rhythm guitarist, as you, I don't know. I write all the, ri I write all the lead guitar that Josie plays anyway, so... It, <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> yeah. I consider myself as the leader of the pack. I reckon the band wouldn't be anything without me. I think I'm the glue that keeps us together, that binds us together, that sticks us together like sticky tape, like brown paper and white paper stick them together and we make a family. see the band going higher in the charts than as a dog in Venom Road climbing up radar lights. Where do you, where do I see the band going? Well actually tomorrow we're going to uh, SeaWorld which should be fun. Hopefully they have some jam there. Actually I should I should, I should bring some jam and my soup spoon. That's a good idea. So yeah, um, hopefully we should be going to SeaWorld tomorrow. <laughs> um, this tastes of honey. <laughs> Rich and compelling. <laughs> Well, uh, where do I see the band going? Well, um, actually, tomorrow we're going to SeaWorld, which should be fun. Um, I don't think I'll be finished this by tonight, so I can bring this with me. <laughs> so, what was the next question? Where do I see the band going? Well, uh, tomorrow we're actually going to SeaWorld, which should be, should be quite fun. I've always wanted to see rhinos. So um, that should be fun. Um, on the weekend, we're going to Thorpe Park. <coughs> Sorry, this is just really good jam. Lashings of jam. You have to look. See, look. This is a lashings of jam. That is a lashings of jam. Direction for the band. Um, ooh, well basically, I, c I can only see it going from strength to strength. Um, with so much talent in the band, and uh, and also also with Jonathan and Josie there, it, it's I can't see it going from anything but strength to strength. It's um, it's an exciting prospect for the future. Watch this space. That's all I can say to our loyal fans.